because I have seen some of you have write a whole lesson out and well it is really difficult to remember and also it is not a fun way to study. Okay? So this is a mind map and it was invented by Tony Buzan and he he's from England. Okay? So first here, what is a mind map? A mind map is a method where which you can make notes, take notes, and also it helps your brain and instead of get in the way. Okay? So mind maps, which is a really fun way, and it's also um, help you to draw better. Well, I have draw lots of things in my mind map, as you can see. Okay? So next is what brought me to this. How do I know this way? Well, at first I write and I write, just like I've said before. And but after that, I don't remember anything. It was really hard to learn by heart. Hard to learn by to learn it. But then my mom decided that that there will be some way, some you know, some different ways to study. And then my mom finds it on Facebook, Google, and books. Yeah, it helps a lot. And next is you need to continue to do it if you now you're doing it. So, but first, first it would be very, very ugly because I know me. But first, I, I draw it. It was a really, really, really ugly. But now I think it has been better. And first will be ugly, ugly, but don't be down. Just continue. Try again. Practice. Make perfect. That is a sentence that which is a advice. Okay, so how how to do it? How to draw it? First, you will draw a keyword, start in the center, here, start in the center, and then free flow builds out other stems, which is getting smaller and smaller. And you must do it in free flow because if you do it like like a straight line, it will be really ugly. So you need to do it at free flow. Okay, so in each stem, mind map is a. At first, it will be difficult because you have to um, make the sentence much shorter so you can fit it in those things. So move around as needed. Don't need to do like here and here and here. Just move around. Yeah, move around as you need. So how it how it works? It makes you smarter. And at first you write in one branch, and then later you think of something and add it to it. But but if you draw, I mean, if you write the whole lesson out, you won't be able to to add it because you are writing in ink. So you won't be able to to um, erase all of it because ink cannot erase. So it will make your page ugly. But if you draw my map, you will still add it here, right? Okay. So next is how good is my map? So my map is help my brain as I am doing, and know how to we know how to organize it, and it is easy to explain to others. Now this is a mind map, and it's easy to explain to you. And you can store it, you can learn it, and you can retrieve it. So it's very important for you to retrieve it because you have to review all the lessons you have learned. So, it helps us a lot. We can write faster, like, oh my god, what have the che teacher said? What have she said? Or what have she he said? That you cannot listen really, you know. You Sometimes, some of you write really slow, and then you just can get confused. Like, what does he say? What does she say? But if you do my math, it will be much shorter. Okay? So, here. So it's only need one page if you draw the whole, I mean if you write the whole lesson down in letters, it will take like sometimes like three or three or four pages, but mine not only one page. Okay? So now I'm going to introduce you about my mind maps, okay? So here are my mind map. My mind maps. Here. This is the respiratory system. It's, it's, you can draw it like this too, out of it, right? Okay.
okay. Draw, it helps you draw a lot, right? And also you can color it. I'm not color it right now, but maybe you can color it while you're drawing. Okay, here, just like this. That's how, that is how it looks when you color it here too. And yeah, wow, this one have lots of stems, right? And also you can learn how to draw. Well, this is the, an old book, but I have a second one. Well, I do, I have draw mind maps about many notebooks, mm -hmm. but I cannot show you all of them. Just to show you two, okay? Here, some have only four stems, but some have lots of them. Wait a second. Here, look. As you can see. Okay, these are the ones I have not colored. Oh, this is my fave. I have talked about this topic, right? Okay, so here's the other one. Well, there are lots of them. There are lots of ways you can create mind maps. Just follow your brain. There are lots of ways, like you can free float or you can do anything you like. Okay, so that is all about mind mapping. What's your bed? Stop using mind mapping. Okay, that is all about mind map. And thank you for your listening. And I hope you guys, when you mm, have a presentation, you draw mind.